Hey, it's Noble Gang? Gang? Noble Gang? Guys, do you think I should change my name to Young Noble since I've been dropping all these credit card raps lately? All right, let's get into this video, guys. Look, we got some beef. 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 One of Dave Ramsey's soldier, Amara Jam Acres. Guys, I'm just going to refer to this guy as Dave Ramsey's homie. Dave Ramsey's guy. That's how I'm going to refer to him because I don't want to say Amara Jam Acres uh, every couple of seconds. I'm on a Credit Shifu video. It was the one where he posted five rookie mistakes that people make. And this guy posted in the comment section, you missed the biggest mistake of them all, opening a credit card to begin with. You guys know how I feel about credit cards. So I had to jump in. But not before Credit Shifu gave this guy what for, but he didn't really do anything. So I had to jump in and save the day for you guys. Defending us as a community, let's get into this. Okay, so he says, Dave Ramsey's guy goes, you missed the biggest mistake of them all, opening a credit card in the first place. Some guy goes, and never build credit, question mark? And then Dave Ramsey's guy goes, and why do you need credit? So you can go deeper in debt? You can live on cash. You can buy things without credit. Building a credit score only allows you to go deeper into debt. Much better off without a credit card or a credit score. Okay, guys, so I'm going to analyze this interaction, and I want you guys to weigh in in the comment section because we're kind of about to get deep into it, but I'm going to not get too deep. So this video, I hope this video isn't going to be 20 minutes long, okay? Credit Shifu responds to that and goes, you are adhering to the Dave Ramsey model, called him out for being the Dave Ramsey soldier, which can work for some people, but personally, I think disciplined use of credit cards as a tool to build your credit score can save you a lot of money in the long run. For example, having a credit score over 740 can save you tens of thousands of dollars on mortgage interest compared to someone in the 600s. For most, I didn't even worry about what Credit Shifu said after that. And then Dave Ramsey's guy responds to Shifu and goes, you can get a mortgage without a credit score. There are places that will manually underwrite a mortgage without a credit score. You guys are going to realize throughout this video, manual underwriting is this guy's favorite word. When he learned it, it changed his life. Okay. Shifu responds, it's not that common. Then you will also need to pay big deposits for your cell phone plan, electricity bill. For the average person, it's just easier to play the system to their advantage rather than going against the grain. But you... If you have no self-control and easily get into debt, I would advise caution in dealing with credit cards, just like everyone does. We all advise that. And then Noble Credit jumps in. Noble Gang. I got to jump in when I hear something like this. All right, I go, please tell me which planet do you live on where your credit score isn't important? This is for research. I'm being funny with the this is for research line. And then Dave Ramsey's guy goes, I live in America and it's absolutely possible. Guys, before I start on his tirade, he's going to say a bunch of things. Guys, a bunch of things that make no sense, and I got to call them out on it. I live in America, and it's absolutely possible to live with no credit score. It's called cash. You are able to get a mortgage using manual underwriting. That's his favorite word. You don't, favorite couple words. You don't need to buy other things with credit. Buy cars with cash. Always make a car payment to yourself. Let me stop right there. So I agree with him when he says always make a car payment to yourself. I totally agree with that. You don't need to buy the things with credit. Yeah, there's, yeah, of course you don't need to buy the things with credit because there's some things that you can't buy with credit. Okay, you can't pay your rent with credit even if you use plastic, but I use plastic to get sign-up bonuses and the sign-up bonus that I get offsets the plastic fee. All right, let's continue. Then take that money to buy the car you can afford. Then use a mortgage company that does manual underwriting, his favorite word. This idea that you need a credit score is making credit card companies rich. You will be much better off getting interest from the bank's than paying interest to them. I just bought an accurate MDX and paid cash for it. I have been taking what would have been a car payment and putting it into an account labeled car. I continue to do that right now so when I'm ready for the next new car, I'll have the cash to buy that one. I have absolutely zero debt and drive a very nice new car. I'm perfectly capable of getting a mortgage on another house by getting mortgage from one of the many places that can manually underwrite one. One problem that I have that's a major problem is if you're going to claim to be financially literate and pay yourself a car payment, there's one rule. There's one major rule in buying the car game that you don't do. What's that rule, guys? You do not buy a new car. You can't trust a single thing this guy says because he got a new car. He bought a new car. There's nothing... Like, th this guy's such a mook. He bought a new car with cash. You don't do that, guys. 
cars are depreciating values as is. You don't need to buy a brand new car. I, I don't understand. It, it tells me everything I need to know about this guy. It really does. Okay, so then I got to respond. I go, as good as you are with money, why wouldn't you just take money off of the credit card issuers? There are enough sheep paying interest to these companies for you to get incredible value out of credit cards. I don't disagree with your money saving tactic or paying cash for things like a car. If I were paying cash for a $50,000 car, I'd call Amex and ask them if I could put the purchase on one of my platinum cars, then pay it off the same day. I personally am debt free, even though I have 20 plus cars. Let me stop right there. Guys, I shouldn't have gone into the $50,000 um, car thing because it makes them think that I would actually do that. Like, I would, like I'm some mook who would pay for a brand new car. Are you kidding me? Okay, the credit card companies benefit from people who aren't good with money. So if you are good with money, you can benefit from the credit card companies. That's how it works. Like, that's just fact. And then he responds, Noble Credit, the idea that you know better than a multi-billion dollar company is just foolish. The only way you can get a card that would let you buy something like a $50,000 car is to have paid thousands of dollars in interest over the last many years. Wrong. You don't get those cards by paying them off every month. Wrong. The entire FICO system is designed to get you to pay massive interest. True. If you don't pay the interest, you don't get a high score to get the cars you are talking about to buy a car. Wrong. I don't pay interest. I have many, many videos on my channel where I say I don't pay interest. And I have many raps on my, I have raps where I say I do not condone interest. I do not condone paying any interest. Credit score go up like it's on a ski lift. Like, what do you think that lyric means? And then he goes, playing those types of games and thinking you're the one who's winning is just short-sighted. Just live within your means. Buy the things you have money to buy. Don't buy something you don't have the money. All right, this, this guy. So he's right when he says that, but it's almost like he thinks that's what I do. He almost, it's like he thinks I'm buying things that I don't have the money to buy, which is not true. Everything I buy, I have the money to buy. All right. I don't pay a car note because my car is paid off and it's not like a piece of junk. I don't have any debt. All right. Everything that I have, I can afford. Uh, just live within your means, buy things. I mean, it's just obvious. Live within your means. That's just obvious stuff. Playing games with massive companies thinking you as an individual will beat them is the gambler. It's like the gambler who thinks he can beat Vegas. Forget about it. The house always wins. Yes. The house always wins. Except in this case. If you are responsible with your money, you can win. It's that simple. It doesn't take rocket science. And it seems like rocket science is the only way to explain it to this guy. All right. I go on to say, you're saying I'm short-sighted when you're talking about things you don't know about. They have credit cards. Because I'm responding to his point where he says, it's impossible to get a car like that without paying interest. Guys, I don't pay interest and I have cars like that. I have a lot of cars like that. They have credit cards slash charge cards that you can use for purchases like that. The Platinum or Business Platinum from American Express, for instance. You'd first have to find a dealership willing to do it, then call Amex and tell them what you're about to do so your account doesn't get locked for suspicious purchases. But since you don't believe it, even though you can easily Google it and find an article, let's lower it to a reasonable $15,000 car. The reason why I said 15000 is because the Business Platinum or the Platinum car, it's designed for people who have money. If you have a business or a business that is generating money, you can probably, you know, reasonably pay $15,000 for an item and not have it flagged, all right? I would still call American Express and tell them what I'm about to do, but that's reasonable, okay? So if I were to buy so if I were to buy a $15,000 car with straight cash, yes, I would pay for it with my car. Even if I'm getting 1%, it's better than paying cash for it and not getting anything back because I would just pay it off the next day. Anyways, I'm active duty military, so the annual fee on high-end cars I have are waived. If I were to use my business platinum to pay for a car like that, then pay it off the same day or the next day, I could do it. I'd be earning 1.5% cash back on that purchase because the business platinum, you earn 1.5% on eligible purchases. So I shouldn't have said that 1.5% part because I don't know if that's an eligible purchase. So that's a few hundred back in my pocket. Guys, I, I'm not saying everything I said was correct, but I, I am right in this entire argument. I have a high score and I don't pay interest. Like I've already debunked his thing me saying that right there and having an entire channel dedicated to teaching guys about this stuff showing guys that they can have high-end cards without paying interest on things like that statement right there shows itself shows for itself in fact 
I have most of the best cards it is possible for normal people to have. Like, I don't have the Centurion card. It's not normal. Depending on where you check, you might say I have an average score. Okay? Some people think I have a great score. Some people think I have an average score. It just depends where you check. If you check my FICO score, you might think it's great. If you check, you know, with one of the bureaus, my 747 might be considered average. Okay? I show my score in some of my unboxing videos. And I also showed my, last time I showed my score was a day ago in one of my credit card wraps. Go check that video out, guys. Your argument doesn't stand up well to someone like me who is actually winning with credit cards. But I'm not just talking about it in comment sections. Look through my videos and you'll see. If you're the type of person to just stick with your beliefs despite overwhelming evidence to the contrary, then there isn't anything else I can say. It surprises me when you say things like, you don't get those cards by paying them off every month. I have those cards and pay them off every month. Man, it's noble gain. Check the catalog. I actually say that. Man, it's noble gain. You see that? All right, check the catalog, man, guys, because I really do this. All right, here comes Dave Ramsey's guy. It is impossible to get cards like the ones you're talking about by paying zero interest in your entire life. So this guy, he's just hell-bent. He thinks you can't have good cars without paying interest. This guy is such a mook. What a shamil. What an idiot. He, he, the things that he think about credit are just not true. That being said, if you actually believe you can win for good, I'm not going to gamble with that kind of thing. That being said, if you actually believe you can win, good for you. This is him conceding because I've already won. I'm not going to gamble with that kind of thing. It's a gamble. It's a worthy risk. All your, You're not gambling on the credit card company. It's not like the credit card company is going to win. You're gambling against yourself to see if you're going to pay your bill on time. Doing the kind of thing you are doing is how people get burned. My father, here comes the anecdotal evidence, does this kind of thing you are talking about and as much as he talks about what he does now the fact is he has paid a small fortune in interest getting to the point he is right now i find it hard to believe you have never paid a penny in interest or paid a penny in annual fees throughout your life no i do not pay annual fees i do not condone paying any interest credits go go up like it's on this lift listen when i talk or your school gonna be falling i'm active duty but i'm not on the ship i'm not denying that at some point it is possible to buy a fifty thousand car using the cards you're talking about I never said you were. What I'm saying is the system is designed to make you pay interest. I know. You don't have to keep explaining that this is the system. We've already agreed on that. If you are telling me you have been able to get a card that will allow you to buy a 3000 card without paying a penny in interest your entire life, I find it hard to believe. Maybe it's possible, but I doubt it. It's possible, and I just showed you two cards. So I don't understand how you could doubt it. I just told you two cards that could do it. The people who play these games tend to get burned. I don't care if they tend to get burned. Much better to just not play with that fire in my opinion. And then he goes on to say, I have never heard a wealthy person say they got rich playing games with credit cards. This is not a get rich quick scheme. What? Like, that had nothing to do with the argument at all. Normally, it's broke people who think they have made some big score all the while they are still broke. Maybe you're different. Good for you. That's a concession. He's already conceded the argument at this point. Let's do a little, let's do a little math. 1.5% of 50,000 is 750. If you actually believe that you can get a credit card that will allow you to put something like a fifty thousand car fifty thousand dollar car on it and pay less than seven hundred fifty in total interest and fees over your entire life you are a fool <sighs> then how come i have one how come i have multiple how come i have five platinum cars then that could do that that just isn't how it works also think about what you have done over how many years to get a credit card that will give you that kind of limit he's so it's really not worth getting into the rest of what he's saying because he just doesn't get it. He doesn't understand what he's talking about, okay? He thinks that everyone who has a credit card is paying interest. Anyone who has a good credit card is paying interest. Like, that's what he thinks. All that to save a grand total of $750 on a purchase you'll make uh, maybe every five to seven years. And this is why I shouldn't have uh, brought the platinum card up and said anything about buying a new car for $50,000 because this guy, he just wanted to keep going back to that thing even though I would never do that. I'd never pay for a brand new car. Even if I was rich, I'd pay for the year prior. You kidding me? Forgive me if I don't think it's worth the gamble to save between $100 and $150 a year. I don't know what that figure comes from. You guys buy into this kind of thing and think you can game the system and at best you save such an ins insignificant amount of money while adding huge risks to your life. <sighs> I'm gaming the system and I'm winning. I don't understand what you mean not worth it to me. If you think you can win that game, I am gaming the system and I'm winning. My Chase Sapphire Reserve gives me $300 a year. Like, wh what else is there to say? 
I have a Freedom and a Chase Lake that I'm about to upgrade to another Chase Sapphire Reserve. So I'll have three Chase Sapphire Reserves. That's $900 a year in travel credit. How am I not winning when I do not have to pay the annual fee? Please explain that. Please. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Guys, I'm just going to kind of skip uh, to the last thing he said. because I. Uh, and one last point. Any dealership selling a car that will accept one of those cars will give you a bigger discount for cash. This is why I shouldn't have said that thing. Okay. So that was my fault. Uh, if I was in a situation where I was trying to do that, I wouldn't tell the dealer. I would tell the dealer to give me the price before I tell him my payment method. But um, they have to pay something like a 3% fee. Yes, I know. If you know how to negotiate, you will save more using cash than... Nah, I don't doubt that. I agree with him on that. And the last thing that I say is, you're not getting it. I'm not saying the system isn't designed for you to lose. It is. I'm saying there's a way for you to win. And I do that. Yes, it is rare to find someone like me. You appear to be stuck in your ways of thinking because... You know most people get burned. you got to stop saying things are impossible when they're not. It shows you don't know what you're talking about. Your anecdotal stories don't matter because we already agree that most people can't do this. Everything you said is impossible. It's pr- Everything you said is impossible. It's provably possible. And I have over 50 videos on my channel backing up what I'm telling you. How are you going to say you doubt it when I just gave you two examples of cars that can do the car thing? And you can Google an article of someone who has done it. I've read about others who have done it as well. Yes, most people are better off not playing the game, but someone who is heavily conscientious about their money can fare well. And then I finish off by saying, I know you don't want to believe me, but you should just check out a few of my videos. Just don't leave any crazy comments. I don't want it. I don't want you to end up in a credit card wrap disc. Those exist on my channel. Yes, they exist. And then I finish off with, there is nothing left for me to say. You're grossly ignorant on the subject. I've already, because he's such a mook. He's such an imbecile. I've already explained how it works. You just refuse to understand despite overwhelming evidence. You continuously believe things that are true when I've already explained them. You continuously believe everyone who has credit card has a credit card pays interest. Shaking my head, I'm out. Guys, if you guys want to read the last thing he says, uh, feel free. But I'm done at this point. Uh, obviously, Noble Gang won this one. I even admitted the things that I said that were wrong. All right, that's how you know I'm not just being biased against myself. Like, I really do this. I really know what I'm talking about. Guys, it's Noble Gang. You got to hit the subscribe button at some point. All right? You can't just keep watching the videos without hitting the subscribe button, man. Join the gang. Guys, we're growing. We're growing this channel. I'm defending our community. Give me some credit for that one, guys. All right? It's Noble Gang. We out.